Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in, as always I appreciate that. Today let's review the second game in my Steam library, and that is 12 is better than 6. 12 is better than 6 is a top-down shooter. You play a Mexican who's lost his memory. He's trying to figure out who he is. Now the story mostly serves as a sort of a context. It's not really epic or anything like that. It's just a very, very violent Mexican and he shoots a lot of bad guys. The whole game is in black and white and it has these sort of sketchy, hand-drawn backdrops. I really like the art style. The only color in this game is the red of the blood that you spilled. Lots of little animations when you shoot someone. You see like a... I don't know, a, a lot of blood gushing out of the uh, the dead enemy. It's just uh, so brutal looking. Again, I, I do like the, the art style in this game. Gameplay wise, again, you play this from the top down and if, if you've played a game like Hotline Miami, you know what you're in for. It's that one shot, one kill kind of uh, gameplay. If you die, you have to start the level over again. Uh, you see your sombrero uh, from the top down and you basically are shooting cowboy hats. That's what you do in this game. Again, one shot, one kill, so you have to be really, really careful. Every level you will try and also stealth kill a lot of bad guys. You can do that. So there's a nice combination of stealth killing and shooting. And actually I found that stealth killing uh, most of the enemies was quite fun and challenging because the shooting, again, as I said, is just one shot, one kill. Lots of trial and error as you move around the level trying to memorize where all the enemies are. They have a sort of a routine as they sort of patrol around. So I, I really I really like this game as there's uh, like the... The AI is quite impressive as you are starting to shoot. Other enemies will come look for you. Um, and it takes a while for them to return to their own routines. The shooting really relies on quick reflexes, much like in Hotline Miami. The right mouse button is used to cock your gun and the left will shoot. So you can't continuously shoot bad guys. You really have to think strategically when there's loads of enemies, you better throw some kind of uh, grenade or, or dynamite uh, or try to sneak up on them instead of just shooting. Cause there's, again, you can't continuously shoot. You have to reload and shoot your gun. So there's a lot of strategy involved. But still, after a while, the whole game does become a bit stale, especially because of the black and white backdrops. They never really change. And also, because of the black and white, enemies can be obscured because of the, because of the backdrop. So they're easily overlooked. And it's not always clear what objects you can use in the level to hide behind when the shooting starts. So it does become a bit annoying at times and there are a lot of levels in this game but i i sort of burned out because of the the aesthetic never changing and it's just kind of the same uh throughout but still in small bursts this game is quite fun it's quite cheap uh, so you can pick it up and have some fun with it so i did have fun with it so thank you guys for watching and see you next time